professor. I teach British literature to undergraduate students in Calcutta. And um, this is something that I always wanted. So a lot of people have a plan A and then a plan B and a plan C. I've never had anything beyond plan A. I've always wanted to teach. And I've always wanted to teach literature, mostly because I wanted to be associated with writing um, and reading. Uh, besides that, I started translating professionally last year. The river was deep. Enough to swallow my regret. Enough to hide me from a society of men that raped women, raped mothers, daughters, wives, sisters. From a society of women that cried rivers, seeing themselves getting raped themselves and their mothers, daughters, friends and sisters. This river would drink me in. It was then that I saw her. Ya Devi Sarvaputeshu Shakti Rupe Na Samstita Namastasyai 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 Namo Namaha I am she, said she. My first residency, which is not exclusively for poets or exclusively for translators or exclusively for writers, which is the kind of residencies that I've gone to. Here, I mean, we've brought in such a diverse range of talent on board that it's, uh, it's frankly overwhelming. But um, also, like ever since we got here, our main purpose was to try and see if we can incorporate some of these other arts into what we are doing. When you come to a residency, the idea is to forge relationships and carry this relationship forward. I'm looking forward to doing that. Ever since I was that little, my mother always said, you're going to do what you like, there's going to be no pressure. She herself made a career and she did it along with bringing me up and I think like she did that pretty well. I'm not sure if I've turned out all right, but um, yeah, so she did all of this together. And of course, there has been the support of my father. I think I learned to be a feminist from my father. Some women jumped into wells willingly and killed themselves. Or so the police records say. And some women burned themselves on funeral pyres of their dead husbands. Or so the holy scriptures say. I am no historian, nor no legislator. I am a writer, and one day, I will present both police and priests at women's courts and overthrow all other tribunals. I will also crush all claims that gentlemen have made against their wives and children. I will repeal the decrees that dictate soldiers and students. I will dismiss the legacies that have been bequeathed by the powerful on the weak. Once we're out of it, we'll be able to take this momentum forward and continue to talk in whatever little way possible about issues that matter. You know it not, yet I reside in the essence of the universe. I make the man I love mighty. I rouse and order battle for the people. I am she, and you are me. You are Durga. You are Sita. You are Draupadi. You are Radha. You are the mother whose milk they suck and then disown. You are the sister whose lips they split with the back of their calloused hands. You are the daughter whose womb they kick barren with their cracked heels. You are the wife they rape every night every day daily
Rise, Meera. Rise in rebellion, finally. <laughs>